To access the batteries on the Interlogix carbon monoxide alarm, we'll want to remove it from the wall mount. To do so, you'll want to slide to the left. The mounting bracket will stay attached to the wall, and we'll be able to take the other device and turn it over. On the back side, you'll notice that there are three AA batteries that will need to be replaced. Using a flathead screwdriver, we're able to pop those batteries out. You'll also notice that there is a red bar that pops out once the batteries have been removed. This is actually a safety measure to ensure that batteries are inserted again before we attach the device back to the wall. These red bars will prevent us from sliding on and putting carbon monoxide up when it is no longer functioning. Putting the batteries in can be a little bit tricky with these bars. We want to ensure that we go with the bar when we're inserting the battery. Make sure that you follow the positive and negative displayed here on the side to ensure that the carbon monoxide receives power. There will be a beep when it turns on. It's also important to note that there is a date of manufacture that can be found down here. In this case, it's March 8th, 2016. These are good for about five years, in which case after which you'll want to replace the carbon monoxide detector. When we reattach the base plate, we want to ensure that we go on tight. If we're loose, or not on all the way, the carbon monoxide will report a tamper. There is a test or hush button located here. If we press and hold that, the carbon monoxide will go through a few different cycles of beeps. This is a good way to know what the carbon monoxide sounds like should there be an emergency and this device is needed.